Hey guys, Malcolm Moore here, and just check out that epic view. It is insane up here. But anyway, down to business. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Insta360 X3 camera. You can see it's actually the camera that I'm filming on right now. A little look behind the scenes. And it's the upgrade to the X2 camera that I used a lot in my videos last year. I'll put a link to it down in the description below so you can check it out if you want. Now, what's really cool about this camera is that it's so multifunctional. It can give you so many different looking shots, like the one I'm getting right now in 4K and linear mode. But first, we're gonna jump in to the one that I really use the most. This, that classic invisible selfie stick look that you're probably going to recognize from some of my older videos but with the x3 this has been made a whole lot easier seriously a whole lot easier and the reason for that is because they've introduced what is called me mode and that's what I'm shooting in right now when you hit that mode it knows that you're going to be holding the camera like this and it knows just to shoot back at you so this clip has had zero editing, zero keyframing. Just point, just stick it out there, sorry. Press record, and that's all you need to do. Now, the pole I'm using, it's the same one that James was holding earlier when he was recording me. I've got another one in my pocket, in fact, I think so. Let's have a look. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it out. Yeah, this one here, it's just there. Uh, standard length one it obviously extends out more than that you don't need anything longer than that that's enough to frame me in the entire shot so I'm about 6'1 by the way and no problems getting in enough of me let's get my glove back on so point and shoot and what's cool is because the camera because it knows leave that off because it knows not to waste any energy, any processing power, I should say, filming what's in front of me, it reserves some of that power, which now means that this mode, this invisible selfie stick look, has also had a jump up in image quality, and I can now also shoot at 60 frames a second. So yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So let's move on to that full 360 mode, that once you filmed in it, it's gonna give you complete control over where the camera is pointing. So for instance now, if I'm gonna spin that camera around, you can see James behind the lens there, and I can have it focused back on me now. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna have a little ride down here, and James, what he's gonna do, he's either gonna kind of put the camera down low, he's gonna get it up high, and we're gonna see if we can get some interesting shots. Let's go. So you can have a look behind the lens, see how James is holding the camera. And let's have a take, let's take a look, sorry, to see what I've done on the computer to make this clip. I can use the mouse to drag the camera view around, but for this clip, I want it focused on me. So I press the deep track button, drag the box around myself, and then start tracking. The powerful AI tracks me throughout the clip, and when I'm finished, I'll just press stop tracking. Now, this isn't done in some expensive editing software, but on the free desktop app that you can download from the Insta360 website. And this feature, honestly, it makes my life so much easier. So, let's rewind it back and take a little look at that clip there. And it's that simple. And say I start riding out of shot. Well, I just can't. The tracking feature, it's got me. And off you go. So the really cool thing about the camera is that it really is shoot first, reframe later. So obviously that clip was edited on my computer, but you don't even need a computer. There's a free app for your phone as well. So we just filmed a cool little clip and I'm gonna see if I can edit it on my phone and get it ready for Instagram in, it time, in the time it takes us to have one chairlift ride. Whilst we're doing that, James is gonna stick the pole out and we're gonna film a little 360 time lapse. Boom, check out that production level. Get your phone out and open up the free Insta360 mobile app. I pan the camera around so that I can see myself. And once again, I'm gonna use the deep track function. I just drag that box around myself and let the app do its thing. 
Because of its upgraded AI, it does all the hard work for you and it couldn't really be easier. I spent most of this chairlift ride taking photos of the mountain. So guys, don't forget, if you're interested in this camera, check it out on the link below. Now, when it's done doing that, you're just gonna hit the export button and it's gonna upload to your phone, ready to share to all your socials. And we're almost at the top, so we'll take a little look at how it was filmed as well as the final product. Let's go. But now let's come on to where this camera becomes a real workhorse. You can also use it as a single lens camera, a bit like a GoPro as well. And when you do it, the image quality is right up to 4K. So, sorry James, I'm just gonna make you run a little bit. As you can see from behind the scenes there, he's not using a gimbal or anything. That's enough running up at 4,000 meters. <laughs> and the image itself, is really well stabilized. So yeah, you don't need to faff around with extra pieces of equipment either. Now, right now, we've got it in linear mode to give you a bit more of that natural look without those sort of distorted edges, but you can also switch it into wide mode as well as ultra wide, which is great for those head cam shots. This view is just unbelievable. Man, we've got the Matterhorn over there, Mont Blanc over that way. And to make the most of it, I'm shooting in active HDR mode. And what that is gonna do, it's really gonna make these colors pop. And it's awesome to use in low light scenarios. I would have loved to wait around a little bit longer to let that sun go a bit lower, but the ski patrol are gonna come and move me along very soon. We need to get this mountain cleared. And I've been shooting all day up at this super high altitude. I'm at 3,900 meters. That's got to be about 12,000 feet. It's pretty cold up here and the battery on this thing, it was pretty good on the X2 already, but on the X3 it's even better. And I've been shooting with the same battery all day. No joke. So, oh man. I'm gonna go and uh, have a lovely last little ride. And I'm gonna leave you guys with some fun and creative shots that we got with this camera earlier. Check them out. Apparently you can swap the sky out. I'm yet to do it, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. Probably something more for the TikTokers amongst you, but maybe a cool feature nonetheless. 